Today I'm making a dish that will complement all the beautiful curries I have shared with you. Hi, I'm Shermi and today I'm making pilau rice. Pilau rice, pilaf or palau, is basically a rice which is seasoned with herbs and spices. There are many variations of this dish, but today I'm going to share my version of pilau rice. This version is inspired from the Bengali Mishti Pulao or Bashanti Pulao. Mishti means sweet and this pilau rice will be aromatic, sweet and delicious. This will go really well with meat curries and this is how Bengalis serve this dish. This pilau rice is also quite easy to make. Let's talk about the ingredients. I'm using two cups of basmati rice. The Bengali version is usually made with a small grain rice called gobindavok. This is a non-sticky, fragrant, short grain rice. If you get this rice, try with that or just use basmati rice like I'm doing. Now let's talk about the spices. I'm using five green cardamoms, five cloves, one inch of cinnamon stick, three bay leaves, one inch of ginger, one teaspoon of turmeric powder, salt to taste, I'm using one and a half teaspoon, two green chilies, and two tablespoon of ghee. Ghee is an important ingredient for pilau. This will help bloom the spices. It also adds some buttery goodness and moisture to the rice. The typical flavor of misty pilau comes from the ghee. If you don't prefer ghee, you can also use some oil. You can also substitute with butter. This is what will give the sweetness to the pilau. One fourth cup of cashews, two tablespoon of canned berries, but you can also use raisins and two tablespoon of sugar. After all, this dish is inspired from the mishti pilau. Now let's prepare the rice. First, I will wash this rice till water runs clear. Always use cold water to wash your rice. I will soak the rice for 30 minutes. In the meantime, I will grate my ginger. If you don't mind a bite of ginger in your rice, you can also chop them. This is around two teaspoon of ginger paste. My rice has been soaking for 30 minutes. Let's drain the water. I'm using this colander to air dry the rice. Let it air dry for another 20 minutes. If you don't air dry, the rice will stick to the pan while cooking. My rice has been drying for 20 minutes, quite dried up. That's what we're looking for. Now I will add some of the ingredients to the rice. I have melted the ghee and I will add half of it. And my whole spices. I just break the cinnamon into half, break up the pots of cardamom, cloves, turmeric. Turmeric will give the beautiful yellow color to the rice. My ginger paste and the three bay leaves. I'm using a green fresh one, but you can always use a dried one. I'll mix them well and leave it aside for another 10 minutes. Be gentle because rice is already soaked, it will break up. That's good enough. Keep it aside. All my ingredients are ready. Let's make the pilau rice. First, we will fry the cashews in ghee. We just need a pan with the lid because we are cooking rice. Keep the heat on low to medium. Let the pan heat up, add the rest of the ghee and the cashews and stir them constantly. The cashews need to warm up along with the ghee. If you put the cashews in hot ghee, it will burn up really fast. Keep the heat on low because uh, cashews have lots of oil in them, so they fry up really fast. Fry them till they are golden brown. This will take around one to two minutes. My cashews are looking good. I will add the canberries. I like canberries because they add really nice thirdness to the dish, but you can also use raisins. Cashews are perfectly done. This is a time to add the rice. Fry the rice till they are translucent. It will take around four to five minutes. Frying will release the beautiful aroma of the spices and the rice will be nicely coated with the ghee. Don't fry for too long, otherwise the rice will dry up and it will be chewy. It's been five minutes, you can see the rice are yellow and glossy. And the aroma of the spices are coming through very nicely. Now I will add four cups of hot water. For two cups of rice, we need four cups of water. Increase the heat to high and bring to a boil. Now I will add the salt. Check for the salt, make sure it's right because we can't add salt later. Rice is boiling, I will reduce the heat to low and cover. 
We will let it simmer for 20 minutes. Leave it alone for 20 minutes. Do not touch it or open the lid. It's been 20 minutes, my rice is done. I will switch off the heat and let it rest for five minutes. In the meantime, I will split the chilies. It's been five minutes. First, I will take out the whole spices. Now, I will add the sugar and the chilies. I'll mix it well. Be gentle with your mixing and cover it. The heat of the rice will melt the sugar and you'll get the aroma of the green chilies without the spice. Our pilau rice is ready. The rice is looking fluffy and beautiful. You can see the individual grains of the rice. The ghee has coated the rice nicely and is cooked perfectly. This is how I like to serve my pilau rice. Take a bowl and put the green chilies and cashews at the bottom. Fill the bowl with the rice. Pack it down and turn over in your serving plate. Serve with your favorite meat curry. My pilau rice is ready. It's looking vibrant, yellow and beautiful. This will go so well with meat curries. I have some chicken bindaloo here, but first I want to try it by itself. Wow. It's so flavorful. It's fluffy, aromatic, and the ghee has coated the rice so perfectly. There is sweetness from the sugar and it have a nice hint of spiciness from the ginger and the chilies. I'll take another bite with the cashews and cranberries. I like the cranberries in this particular dish because it adds hint of tanginess and the sweetness to the dish. And the cashews add some creaminess. This will really go well with some spicy meat curries. Don't skip the green chilies because it adds a nice aroma to the dish. This is a great side dish for any curry. And this pilau rice is so much better than any restaurant one. Next time you make a curry, give this dish a try. It is also quite easy to make. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Please like, share and subscribe and see you in the next video.